Hello and welcome to another NI's ADAS NAD Stories. Um, my name is Daniel Rebauch. I'm the solutions marketer here at NI focused on ADAS and autonomous drive uh, validation tests. And today I have Matthias with me from Tracetronics. So welcome, Matthias. Yeah, hello. My name is Matthias Friedrich. I'm working for Tracetronics. Um, I'm a test uh, engineer on Tracetronics side and I support different uh, engineering projects to, yeah, save the quality on the automotive software. Hello, great to have you, Matthias. Um, so you're a, a test engineer, so I'm also curious, like, okay, what do you do in your spare time or in your private life in terms of testing also related to automotive, maybe? Yeah, this, this is a good question. So uh, also my private, I'm, I'm also a tester. So if I drive my car um, on the highway, for example, I will also check all the functionality of the new ADAS features, for example, the line assist or the brake uh, systems and so on. And uh, it's every time good to know that the quality is, is very good in the cars. Yeah. That's great to hear because I was curious also like, okay, what your experience with those systems so far has been? So I think that's, that's great to hear. What's, what's the one functionality that you like the most so far? The most I think is the ACC function because mm -hmm. you can relax on the highway, <laughs> the distance will keep and all the stuff. But if you have some really, um, yeah, I, I will say complex highway roads with uh, many corners and so on, and uh, also a lot of traffic uh, side by side, the system is maybe sometimes not so good. <laughs> they They make an alert that you should push now the brake, but nobody is in front of you and you are wondering uh, why, what's happened now? And then you see, ah, okay, maybe the car on the on the right road um, is now detected. Um, so, so definitely um, more room for improvement. And, and I think that's also why testing is essential because at the end of the day, we really want to make sure that all these functions, once they get into the vehicle, are safe and secure. Um, so I think that's the, the, the first and foremost thing. Good, so let's switch gears a little bit, Matthias, and uh, maybe let's talk about what you have brought with you today in terms of a project that you would like to share with us. Yeah, today um, I will show you a high-perform test automation uh, tool combination uh, with ECU test and Veristand. So Veristand is a very powerful tool for the hardware and the loop system, for example. Um, and in the past, the tester have to do a lot of manually steps to start the engine, to accelerate the engine speed and so on. Um, and now I will show you how easy it is to, to put a test automation tool on top to automate your test process. That sounds very, very interesting. I'm, I'm curious how the system set up for this one looks like. So can you share a little bit more about that? Yeah, exactly. So um, here in this picture, you can see uh, we have on the one side, we have Veristand and Veristand will calculate the, the model items, all the signals which we need for the system under test, uh, what we want to check and show that the quality is okay. And on the right side, we see ECU test and we have a directly connection over the Veristand API. So Tracetronic implement more than over 60 tool adapters for different tools. And today I will show you how easy we can create test cases for the very stand connection. Great, so um, same here as on our end, uh, we wanna make sure that we have open connectivity to various different tools uh, out there, because at the end of the day, um, it's uh, in the best interest of our, of, of our both customers to make sure that they get the best of every world basically. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Matthias, so can you show us a little bit more about uh, the demo? Yeah, in this demonstration here, you see ECU test, the test automation tool. And at the moment, we have a current running connection to Veristand. Veristand is running on a remote machine, and we have a directly connection. We have access to all the model items here from the Veristand models so we can now change really easy for the test sequence, uh, the read and write steps. And we can also create here the test sequence now. Mm -hmm. If I execute and run this test sequence, ECU test will communicate now directly with Veristand and yeah, will stimulate the system under test. So we see this here also in Veristand. 
Uh, now we increase here different signal values for the uh, engine speed, and we will check if this engine speed is follow the input values. And we also focus on the engine temperature in the ECU test in the test case. And now after the test execution, we jump and create automatically a test report. And here you can check every details what has happened, why is the test step success, what are the measurement values and the timings. And if you need a more detailed overview, you can also check this in the plots and in the signal behaviors here. And you can also make some special calculations. For example, here we see that the temperature is every time increasing on the situation if the engine is running. Great. Thanks, Matthias. So this was a, a, a great quick overview on how ECU tests uh, can work together with Veristand. So thanks, Matthias, uh, for this great demonstration. It was good uh, to have you today. Um, for everybody else, as, as always, feel free to leave your comments and feedback down below um, uh, so that we know what you like or what you did not like uh, so much about that. Um, also, feel free um, to reach out to me either via email or find me on LinkedIn if you have further questions that you would like to discuss uh, with us. So and with that, um, we would love to see you uh, next time on one of our episodes of NI Ada's NAD Stories. Thank you and bye-bye.